What's going on? I don't know even if y'all can hear me, but um, if you can, uh, just a workflow. Uh, my name is Francois Andre. Coming through with Sheila. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I have all the links in the description. I also have the links to this RVN project that I'm working on today. It's been out for a minute. Uh, the RVN community is really dealing with it. Shout out to everyone in the community. Um, Raven Corn doing it. Um, they also have a token that uh, that's I believe it's about 27 to 30. Uh, it's called EBR Evermore. You can check that out at evermore.org. Um, also, yeah, I think it's like one RVN for like 27 or like 30 EBR. Mine is going crazy. I've already upgraded the, the, the um, GitHub um, repositories and stuff. So, yeah. But uh, anyway, today I'm just showing you guys a little workflow. It's not going to be too long of a video. As you can see, I have a lot of different figures and things I can work with. This is Das 3D, so I'll have that link in the description as well. But pretty cool thing. It was free, but I have bought a few things because a lot of this stuff don't come free. So, um, but I already have a list over here. As you can see, shoes, different things. Like that. I've really been working on this project a lot. So, shout out to everyone who you know really gives me the support. You know, and really you know deals with my projects and really helps me out, gives me ideas and things of that nature, how to do certain things. So, if you don't know about Das um, Studio, then here's a little tutorial. Um, it's pretty easy. If you, if you deal with Blender or anything like that, it's base, it, it is literally the same thing. You got your control, and I had to, that's what made me work with Blender better. Uh, right here, you can just grab this, do this with your camera. Um, you got your tab right there. You can go to Cube Vision, Dock, Show Floor, Center Axis, and then different little options right here. You can go in there and just click that button right there. You go get that little quick dots down with it to do that. When you come on, mine, mine is built a little differently as far as when you go into, I believe it is window. Where is that at? It's somewhere in here where you're supposed to be able to uh, like change how your windows and stuff looks like. Um, also, you can you need to register this too. Yeah, when you go on Dad Studio, if you ever go there and you go download and everything, they'll have a register code, so you can click on this and then register it that way. And then you'll have two other things you can download: either uh, this one, which is uh, the down the manager, it's like an install manager for all the files. If you're doing like the bulk upload to your account, then they have another one where it allows you to see everything in there. You can install it singly. So anyway. So uh, what I've been working on lately is just something like this. Okay, I don't like that perspective view. Let's go to camera. Okay, cool. So this is the RV. This is the RVN Emoti uh, or Fields Candy. And um, basically, the, the whole point of my project is, you know, it's all about feels. How do you feel for the day? It's really simple. You know what I mean? So. Um, Obviously, I have males and females. Uh, that's one of the males in a normal position. Let's see if we can find a female. Yeah, cool. There you go. So we got mango, and then we have strawberry. So if we go to can, I don't know it doesn't look like one, but that's because it's in a, a certain, it's in a textured view, where it's texture is shaded and it's not Nvidia IO. Um, so when you go, to, when you click on. Over there, you can see camera and all of these, and then this this little bubble right here. If you have it on that, that's what it will show. So you can go to wire, bound box, and solid wireframe, hidden line, lit wireframe, uh, shaded, so forth and so on. For people who are super super cold with that type of stuff, this is your area right here. You know what I mean? um, filament PBR. I guess my computer. I don't have a graphics card on my computer, so it's not gonna. Even if I had the files for filament, and it won't let me use it. But, um, is the NVIDIA IO, and this is how it looks in the video. So when you render this out, this is what it's gonna render out, you know what I mean? So regardless to whether it's in texture mode or um, NVIDIA IRA, and you want to make sure also that your render settings are set how you feel most comfortable. Um, I never, uh, auto headlamp, I always put that on never. 
none, none on the post process. This is just in the general area. So I know I'm, this is my basic when I do uh, these types. So it's always always a thousand by a thousand. Twelve boards, one to one. Uh, steel frame so if you're doing uh, image series then it would you know you would obviously use the timeline and that you would have to click on this and as you can see it would say start so if you had 15 well obviously it's 30 so this is going to say this is going to be actually 31 because it considers zero as the first one so you would put like 29 right here that would be 30 frames so forth and so on um, let's see here's your timeline so let's say, for instance, if I wanted to change the position of this candy from one pose to another, right? Well, it would have to go through the motions and changing into that pose, but Dad's been working on how to make that smoother. So I won't, I won't that's another tutorial. I probably won't do <laughs> There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube and different places for that. But um, yeah, so for the most part, these are just some of my candy. So now that we're in, we're in camera mode. So what it is is that your perspective mode allows you to be able to work in the area and you always want to use texture shaders so you can see what's in your background or whatever so i can just zoom in zoom out because what it's going to render out is my actual the view that i'm in so if i click on camera this is what this is what's gonna you know render so if i'm in perspective mode and i forget to do that then i then i kick it out whatever area so if it looks like that or something and i do that nine times i think it's gonna kick it out like that so you don't want that but perspective mode will give you the chance to look around and see how the candy looks or whatever it is that you're making. So, um, I got a lot of different stuff I want to do to it, but um, I have to make sure that you know, things are set up correctly first. So, my camera, um, I'm in perspective mode, so I don't think you can see if I can see my camera. But so, when you put the eye on, obviously it's on, so you can see the actual camera. So, I can take this and zoom it around. And, look at what the camera is looking at right so then that's when you go into the parameters and the parameters of the camera itself it can be translated fov color you know you go into the parameters and you can do everything you want to do to that camera you know and this thing is a bunch of like distortion and so so you can do in this damn thing um with that being said um yeah so let's just get back into it. This is just some of the basics of, um, you know, how you want to do some things. Everything else is kind of if you, oh, okay, yeah, right here. If you want to add a camera, obviously, if you stay on it long enough, the little thing will pop up that you see. So create a new camera, distant light, point light, linear point light, spotlight, a primitive, or a whole new group. And click here to show or hide the out or align pane. You know I mean? So you have your things up here as well. That's to activate the scene navigator. This is the node selection tool. This is the universal tool. Rotate, translate, scale, uh, active pose. You can uh, activate the uh, animate to tool. Surface selection. So yeah, this one's a good one too. So you can. I, you can highlight the whole selection or surface of whatever it is that you're on. But remember to always go to scene and make sure that I have clicked on what it is that I'm working with. You know what I mean? Uh, let's get that camera out of there. Let's click this to put it in the zoom in position. So this just zooms right on in into your normal. So you, know, you can slide your camera with this one. This one you can zoom on back and forth and zoom in and out with that. This is a reset, so you will reset your view, and this is the basic view that it comes in. So I don't know why it does that though. Anywho, so so just some basic stuff. So um, so now that we can get out of render, oh, we can look at some of the more things that I was talking about real quick. So you have render mode. Always keep that in photo real. Progressive render. I uh, normally mine is. Uh, I don't know why it's min a minimum update samples is one update interval is 300 minimum samples is five max is a thousand the time is 7200 uh, rendering quality enabled rendering uh, quality I just leave it right where is that on one rendering converge ratio that's 95.0 and post SSIM available I normally click that on too just depending on what I'm doing for this I won't I leave that off alpha I leave that optimization 
I normally kind of leave this stuff alone. Uh, filtering, I always have a uh, post, post denoiser available or post, voice, uh, post denoiser enabled. I don't deal with the alpha and I leave the start iteration at 950. Uh, my pixel filter radius is about 0.80 and everything else is just, I just kind of leave alone. I don't really like bloom filter. I don't deal with anything with that unless I have, if like if I wanted to make a, a candy look like he had a superpower or something. And I would, and I would have to, you know, do the light, lighting and flames around it and make it look like, you know, like some Dragon Ball stuff. Well, then at that point, and the, then depending on the way you set up the um, environment as well, because you can set it up to look different ways and come off in, in a certain light. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of different stuff you can do here with this thing, and this is just how it comes out. That it, that has nothing to do with like your environment. Or if I went to scene, I went to the environment options. And I go to, let's see. Let me get straight over here, boom. So you're gonna have this map. Normally it's, I keep it on dome and scene, the infamous sphere. And right here, the intensity in the map is just how much more light or the way it's gonna shine off of them is gonna hit or how bright it really is. I leave environmental lightning blur off. The dome orientation, what it does is obviously X, Y, and Z on the uh, on the uh, lighting, so move around it, you know, on the X, Y, Z axis. Dome rotation, same thing. Well, you know, it's for the whole rotation. We just go around um, texture and scaling, ground reflectivity, uh, ground glossiness. There's you know, a bunch of different things in the environment that help bring it out as well. So I don't really deal with a lot of that stuff. Um, I see spectral rendering. I leave that off. I leave all this alone. White mode or white mode enabled. I leave that off. Uh, sex, uh, section caps enabled. I leave that off. Tone mapping. I normally leave this one exposure value 9.75 and my shutter speed about 13.45. That's if I have to use any, you know, anything I'm doing on tone mapping. Like I said, that's the environment. Boom. We always, we always go back to general. And when I'm ready to render out, let's make sure I have it in the still. Remember, you gotta always go back and make sure that you have it there. You can always put the name in and where it's going or whatever. So yeah, just you know, make sure make sure you're setting yourself up for success and always save. Always. side of the pane where you can see rendering simulation control and smart contracts normally I'm in smart contracts and then I can look at what I'm looking at then like I said you always want to click on the one that you're looking at so I'm on the common four which is a strawberry if I go into my Nvidia IRA yep it's strawberry All right. the texture kind of help the computer run a little more and not run so hard when we're using that no, basically what I was doing today was just I was doing different um, poses and stuff today to uh, start season five. Season one was this normal position. Season two was an angelic pose, which was, let's look at that right quick. Hmm. That was an angelic pose, and this one was a ocean wave uh, candy. So let's go look at that right quick. And as you can see, you see the reflection of the sky off of off of the eyes. That's part of that environment, which what I was telling you about earlier. Depending on you know when you're in here and you want to go mess with the parameters and everything, surfaces, shaping, posing, lights, cameras, and environment. So for some reason, the environment never never pops up. You can do a backdrop too for the environment as well. Or you can just add in props in the background and and uh, it'll be a heavier rendering obviously because it's to render so so you can do it separately and then you know kind of piece together some projects that's what I do I normally separate I'm gonna need 3d backgrounds I normally separate the background from that that way I don't have to be so heavy on my computer with the rendering it's a little longer but it's worth it Alright, so boom, we're gonna go back in the scene, make sure we have you selected, and then we're gonna go into poses. Or let's go back to the strawberry. I normally use the normal one and just kinda change the skin around some. Ah, 
so even better to teach i'm glad that just happened so as you can see i'm on poses i have them clipped for this showing every single last one of the poses that i have including animal poses uh karate poses just all types of stuff and so what what would i need to do in order to get it to be just for this specific character well then i'll go down here and click filter by context so considering the fact that i have this clip like i said earlier and then if you want to do it better you can do the surface selection or the um, region navigator tool region navigating region navigator tool is when you're inside surfaces and you're picking different areas so if i click this as you can see it shows a hole right so if i go into surfaces and i click this i might be backwards but it will show me yep so i was wrong it's backwards this one is the one where okay boom as you can see i got gloves so that's selected that's better too to use if you want to do something separately you want to go inside of the actual because a lot of characters don't have this where you can go in and go grab different things and do different things to them add different textures styles and this is technically what i mean the long way you do all this and then you import it in the, into blender and then you use the fc randomizer and boom you got your project you know what i mean like a lot of people are doing it that way and they're coming out with some nice stuff so you know it just depends on what you want to do me i'm keeping it simple because it's a lot of extra work to do all that other stuff plus i'm not that i'm not that smart about all that stuff so but yeah anywho there you go so well, i always go back and click that to kind of clear it or whatever and then like i said uh let's see so we need to make sure we are in scene it is crapped we have our filter by context we are in our poses so now because he's a guy some of these obviously you know won't look good on him right so i mean unless you you know you decide that if you want to make that yourself or do that yourself whatever but uh yeah so the next pose i was looking for i had uh the ones i showed you was normal and angelic and then oh yeah let's show the angry right quick that way i know oh no that's um that's another one I was looking at. I think that's the next one I was going to do. Yeah, this one right here. I don't even know the name of this. But I might just name it the, you know, some, something retarded. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But this is, you know, just about contrast, about just how you want to do things. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let's go with that pose then. So we're going to go off of you. Let me go to change that back later. So we're going to go back to Strawberry, right? Then we're gonna go grab this pose so we have everything selected so you can just either you can grab it and slide it over normally i just right click it and you push it right there like that all right so now we go back from perspective i'm sorry not not that one all right see what happens see how that happened clicked off clicked on came out of there because i clicked off of that right. so um boom not necessarily needing to be in here but anyway up here we're gonna go here you know that's how that would come out sounds shiny looks like it's outside it's a nice day feeling retarded or i don't know if that's not a good word to use please don't chastise me for that <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah so there you go with that let's see and now what i want to do with this is i'm going to change i'm going to change the um I'm going to leave this strawberry, but when I render it out, I'm going to name it differently. So, now what I want to do is I want to go into surfaces. As you can see, the whole thing is selected. And previously to this, uh, this dual specular glossiness wasn't here. It was just kind of basic. And what I mean by that is I can go to shaders. And while every while him and everything or yeah, while him and everything is selected, I will go grab the eye ray uber base and put that on him, right? And then we go to the skin and we want to go into base color and you see how that's right there. Well, that's something that kind of stops the coloring from changing. You know, if you just want to do a bunch of different styles and colors like I did, you're gonna click on that and you're gonna go to none, right? And it's gonna do that. Do you see how the how it changed color? Because it doesn't have that yellow aspect on the back of it, right? So if I go to undo, you can tell the difference. See, it gave it more of a a, a live type of 
Caribbean style colors. I don't know. But anyway, so this is more of a, yeah, that's more of a dry purplish style type of, because it's now it's using this diffuse overlay. It's gonna, the base color is white, so then you can go in and go do diffuse overlay. And now just kind of mess around with the colors a bit. See? And that's because we took that off of it and then we uh, left the base color white. Because if I go base, if I go diffuse color white, there you go. Right, so just go and do that. And do that. And do that. No, we need to redo that time. We need to take that off in a little proof of point. Okay, now not necessarily do I need to do that, but it's better to do that way it doesn't say I have something extra sitting on it. You know what I mean? Or, you know, it doesn't go through the motions. Now I have this thing about being a little different about how I do stuff, right? So when I see stuff like this, and I'm like, ooh. I know what I can do with this stuff. I can make a wild style collection. I can make a pastel and you know abstract style collection. Just different fabrics. Just you know being able to just put them on here. And because remember, I have skin selected, and we also have the high rate Uber shader on it as well. And we've removed that um, the original um, PNG that comes on it that that's within the uh, data that makes it that specific color so now we can go through and we can see if we want to party or not click that twice give it time to load it this we're in um <laughs> And because we're in um, NVIDIA iRate, it takes a little longer, but you get the basic idea of what I literally can do with these candies. And because they're going pretty hot right now, they're, 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 do, they're, doing, they're doing some numbers right now over here on Raven Coin. So and I'm really kind of proud of the projects because it took me a long time to figure out. And I never saw anybody use these emoji guys or emoticons to do projects with. And I haven't seen them anywhere on any blockchain either. So. You know, and if they're there, then I'm assuming, but for the most part, I don't think so. So, and I've been doing some pretty decent searching, but anyway. So, boom, we can go back in the shaders. Make sure you have skin only because that's what we're changing. Then, remember, if I can do this with the skin, then I can do this with the eyebrows, eyes, tongue, teeth, gloves, and I can do what literally the sky is the limit with. The so then if I go back, just to take that off of there, give me another plane back to work with. Let's go see how some of these others would look. What is this, a ceramic stripe? Let's try that. <laughs> That's actually kinda cool. Oh, okay. I know that. See, see, I, I, I like stuff like that because this is this is unique and different. Nobody is doing stuff like this. You know what I mean, so I just I appreciate the love and the support for everybody. Um, you know, this is technically what I'm working on. So, and I have uh, every, uh, I don't know if you let's go back to poses. So I've only done three poses, and as you can see, I have about 91 through 94 poses. So yeah, and then um, I have shoes that are coming out, hats, uh, little access facial accessories, tattoos. It's, uh, there's, it's, it's just it's gonna get crazy. I'm gonna figure out a way to get some hair on these guys and make it make sense. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, just a little quick thing that you can learn about this. Um, you know, I love doing this type of stuff anyway. And. Um, Thanks for watching. I'm probably gonna record a little bit more and just kind of, you know, go through this mess around a little bit. So, um, you guys stay cool and um, like, peace. Yeah.
Like that, okay. So I'm talking to myself, yeah, because I do this a lot. I think artists, a lot of artists do that. My bad. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, see, this is what I mean. Like, I go through and I'm like, okay, for Bark, do I want to use that for like more of a like warrior style or more of a, you know what I mean? Like, what am I looking for for Bark? You know what I mean? So I guess I'll let's see how that works. For Bark or one. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's gonna be nice. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and render that. I like that. Now it's still gonna take a minute because it's pretty heavy. So we're just gonna minimize, minimize the render window. Go back into our Photoshop because this is where the other part of the magic happens because I don't use the blender. And I like so. Uh, technically, what we do is we bring all of our candies in. Boom. 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 Mm -hmm. Just throwing what I'm doing is with this one is I'm starting to just throw some mixes in here because a lot of these have different uh, they're like tens and then there's like five of the hangover versions so I got that uh, hungover that is uh, watermelon gin daiquiri and devil spring this one is uh, green apple vodka tequila agave and Jack Daniels this one is MD 2020 Strawberry Kiwi, Daiquiri, and Hypnotic. This one is Ginger Beer, Banana Rum, Fireball, and Disarona. <laughs> and this one is MD 2020 Strawberry Kiwi, Pina Colada, and Jose Cuervo. Boost like pretty steak ones. Uh, let's see. This one is Spiked Punch. Lucas Chile, Scotch and Root Beer, Hot Tim Waller, Maiz de Suca y Chile. I like that shine on her. That was one of the, a lot of people don't know, it's like a, um, it's like you got commas on commas and rares. That was one of the rares. Then you got rum and coke. That's a rare too. As you can see, you can see through it. I like that one. Then you got prickly pear chile. Mango chile. Look at the shine on her. Oh, and what was this one? Fireball. All right. So yeah, so technically what I do is I bring that back in here, size it, make sure it fits the size of these, make sure it's even. You know, we got all our shoes. Kind of want to, well, I guess I'll, I'll show a, sh a few shoes. So we got some of the basic common shoes. Let's see. We got, those are girl shoes for the emoti girl or for the emoti girl. Um, same ones. Oh yeah, that's one of 
and stuff getting into that's like Margot. So I think I came up with a, some designer names for the candy shop. So that's Margot. This is A G H. This is Triple C B. That's Berber and Carbon. So Berber uh, material on the shoe, and then Carbon uh, bottoms and Carbon um, Carbon straps. And I got uh, some uh, Bang versions of Skechers with some uh, basics. And we got some. S. Williams. So you can see I took one of those party styles and you know you can put that on a dress, put it on shoes, put it on whatever. So you got your common shoes, so these are more of the guy versions. Or just tennis shoes, unisex. I think you can say unisex. All white, something like that. And start getting into the more because these are you know more chromed out or <laughs> I guess that material shiny material a little different than the basic um, common ones that you saw yeah KD orange so that's like um, I forget or that's ceramic tile for the bottom and for the shoe strings and then that's um, like an orange candy paint This one has, um, I think that's that um, marble or uh, concrete, something like that, with the shoestring straps and the uh, bottoms. And then, because it's a Ravencorn project, I had to do a nice little pair of Ravencorn shoes.